Talking about a tall task, quite literally, moving a more than 100-year-old monument out of town by tractor, truck, and barge. We're live in St. Augustine with a very delicate process. I hope you're having a fantastic afternoon, folks. I'm Lou Turner. Let's get right to that story as the Confederate Memorial is about to leave St. Augustine. In just hours, it'll be heading out of town. The City Commission voting 3-2 to two to have it taken out of downtown to a park some 20 miles west of the county. But it's not just a straight line process of driving it up Highway 16-13 to 13 to the Trout Creek. No, they're going to do it... Um, by a myriad of transportation <laughs> methods as well. Uh, it took hours to move the memorial from the plaza to the nearby marina. That's right, marina. This afternoon, it will begin an 80 mile journey along the Intracoastal and St. John's River to its final stop at the Trout Creek Fish Camp. Which, by the way, Jessica Clark of Lewis and Clark fame, uh, and I, we've been there. We have been to Trout Creek. We rode airboats there. It is a haul from where she is live right now in downtown St. Augustine. Hello, Jessica. Hi, Lewis, and you remember it is a beautiful spot where this memorial will be going at Trout Creek Fish Camp, but here it is behind me and uh, it's actually in two pieces. This is the memorial. You're able to see this big base piece. The obelisk is actually on that same piece of equipment, but it's behind the tree. But the crews right now working to move it and you know where they're moving it. They're going to move it kind of on this makeshift bridge and then onto this barge and this barge then will move out of downtown St. Augustine because that's where we are now up the intracoastal and then through the river, St. John's River, through downtown Jacksonville and then again um, to the Trout, Fish Creek, Trout Creek Fish Camp. But earlier today, there was an interesting moment because there was a ceremony for the veterans whose names are listed on the memorial. And there was a priest who gave a blessing. There were other veterans there to speak on behalf of the veterans listed, those Confederate veterans listed on the memorial. Family of those uh, Confederate veterans attended. And there was a 21 gun salute, as well as taps was played by Bugler. Just a, a real poignant part in the final farewell to this memorial being here inside the city of St. Augustine before it is then loaded onto this barge and uh, go, going all the way up to Jacksonville and then back down to St. John's County where it will have a new home. The process starts, gosh, in the next hour or so when it's placed on the barge and uh, it's supposed to take about 14 hours or so. So it's a long track and it will get there sometime sometime tomorrow morning. That's the expectation. We're alive in St. Augustine. Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side.